What happens in our QuickBooks records when we receive merchandise without receiving the bill? We can receive merchandise without the bill because very often the bill comes after we receive the merchandise. You still need some source document as proof that you physically received the merchandise. You could make a special item receipts and some large companies actually have a stack of item receipts or a pad of pre-printed item receipts in the shipping warehouse and the receiving department so that when merchandise is received a specific item receipt is written out for the driver of the delivery as well as the bookkeeper who receives proof that the item is received. You don't have to make a special item receipt. You could use one of the shipping documents as the item receipts. You could use one of the documents that gets created in the normal process of shipping merchandise you, as your proof. You could use one of the shipping documents as your proof that you physically received the merchandise. Examples of shipping documents are bill of lading, packing list, or any other shipping document where the receiver signs and the document has a unique specific number that identifies that specific delivery of that specific merchandise and identifies that as a transaction. The day the items are received is really the day of the transaction. So it doesn't matter if you get the bill or you just make an item receipt. At the moment you physically receive merchandise, inventory the asset goes up. And because you physically receive the merchandise, your accounts payable records go up. And of course, the specific vendor's balance from the vendor whom you received that merchandise from will also go up. As long as you physically receive the merchandise, these are the things that change regardless of whether you physically received the bill yet or not. Let us imagine on May 23rd we received 50 bananas from Sam's Farm. We made an item receipt and the item receipt number was 4141. Now remember, this could be a real item receipt or just a shipping document used as an item receipt as long as we have some unique document with a unique number to prove this transaction. From the main menu, click Vendors. If you only receive the items, choose the menu choice that says Only Receive Items. Do not choose anything that has the word Bill in it if you only receive the items. Put the date that we physically receive the items, because that's the date of the transaction. Choose the vendor. In this case, it's Sam's Farm. Now, do not put in a reference number. Do not. The reference number is the bill number when the bill will follow later. You should put the number that is on the shipping document, the number that you're using for the item receipt, in the memo field number 4141 and then you would indicate in the memo field if it's a bill of lading or a packing list or any other shipping document and where it's filed. Again, the reference number for the item receipt should go in the memo field. Save the reference number field until the bill is physically received. Click the items tab and put in the items we received. 50 bananas. So we choose bananas and we choose 50 and we push tab. Okay, When we push tab, QuickBooks will calculate the amount of the bill. 50 banana, uh, oh excuse me, that's in description. We want 50 as the quantity. <laughs> Don't do that. So the bill is $1,000. This is an item receipt which is a transaction for $1,000. When we click Save and Close and open up the inventory report, we see that the check and the bill previously increased the quantity of the items, and this item receipt increased the quantity of bananas by 50, so that we now have 93 bananas. But we have it from an item receipt, not a bill. The item receipt is a transaction. If you double-click Accounts Payable 
and go to the very bottom, you will see the item receipt increases accounts payable. The item receipt also increases the inventory asset because it is a transaction. And of course, even though it's not a bill, the item receipt still shows up on the unpaid bill report because the item receipt is still a transaction that has not yet been paid for. On May 24, we received bill 1414 from Sam's Farm for the May 23rd item receipt. Receiving only the bill is not a transaction. The bill only clarifies the transaction that actually happened when you got the item receipt. Therefore, you will enter the bill, but you will not, you will not change the date of the item receipt because the date of the item receipt is the date of the transaction. From the main menu, click Vendors. This menu choice, Enter Bill for Items Received, really means Enter Bill for Items Previously Received or previously received with no bill and we're entering the bill now. This is the appropriate choice to make if you already received the items and today you're recording the bill for previously received items. Now, once you choose the vendor, all of the previous item receipts that have not uh, gotten a bill yet will show up on this list. Select an item receipt. In this case, Sam only has one. If he had several, we would click on the correct one and then we would click OK. Immediately, all the other information from the item receipt is put on the bill and the check mark here is indicated bill received. Do not change the date. Do not change the date because the date that you physically receive the items is the date of the transaction. Simply put in the reference number from the bill, which is bill number, I forgot what it was. Oh, okay, bill number 4141. So, bill number 4141. And now when we click Save and Close and click Yes, because we are changing a previous transaction. We're changing the previous item receipt into a bill. So we click Yes. Now when we go back to the inventory valuation detail, the transaction on the 23rd that's previously said item receipt now says bill. No other information is changed from what we put in when we put in the item receipt. The only difference is it says bill, and the reference number, I think I made a mistake. The reference number is supposed to be 1414 because that's the reference number on the bill, not the reference number on the item receipt. So the only thing that changed after you received the bill is the word item receipt became the word bill and the bill's reference number showed up here.